Welcome to the Syringe Network. We're injecting things that were not inside of you, inside of you right now. This is The Extra Dimension, Episode 1, Cherry 7-Up, recorded January 16th, 2015. This episode features Christopher Bauhoff and Andrew Bailey. Injecting. You know what I love about injections? No. Virtually everything about injections. I like the fact that I have things inside of me. I like the fact that things are not inside of me. I like the fact that there's a way to put things that are not inside of me inside of me so that they can be one of the things inside of me and not one of the things outside of me. It's like milk. Milk. Say it. Say it. Milk. Pop. Pop. Wait. Oh, never mind. Milk. Apple. Yeah. Apple. Apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice banana. Anyways, what are we doing our podcast about? I, I think we should talk about the very important ethical dilemmas that are, are facing the future of, you know, science technologies and how it can generally affect us, not just as, as human beings, as individuals, but also as, as creatures of conscience. Or maybe we could talk about how much I love drinking Cherry 7-Up. And I was well, supposed to get the Cherry Coke. That's the weird thing. I was like, I'll get the Cherry Coke, and I pick up the Cherry 7-Up. I just, well, I, there's, I, I've got problems. There's only one problem with this Cherry Coke. Which is about one more problem than I have. Wait. 99 problems and Cherry Coke's one? I don't know how that phrase goes. Go ahead. My problem with this Cherry Coke is that it's frozen. Lies! Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm listening. You did that on purpose. I do not, we're not going there. I'm not, okay, it is a horrible movie. Frozen, Elsa is the devil's horn. You know what? This podcast is supposed to be about technology and internet and bleep, bloop, blop, and I'm going to build a robot that can fix all my problems. I'm Andrew Billy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it is not about the worst written, worst directed, uh, preachy, feminazi, priestesses, not even preachy, a priestess feminazi of unholy power. You mean? Who's the devil's whore? We're not talking about that. You mean Nazi? No. Because on Don't this. Don't say Nazi. Say Nazi. Because Nazi. On, on this podcatting network, we say Nazi. Podcatting. I thought it was podcatting. Is it pod? Podcatting. Pot? Like, uh, uh. Uh. Things you stuff other things into. Like pod. Syringes. Duck. Like injections. A syringe network. A syringe network. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do a promo. Welcome to the Syringe Network. We're injecting things that were not inside of you, inside of you right now. Huh? Yeah! yeah. Go team! Yeah! Whack America! Up. America! Oh, I'm so pumped up on Cherry 7-Up when I'm supposed to be pumped up on Cherry Coke. Okay, so let's talk right and wrong in technology. Not necessarily about technology. Oh, what else do you do? Um, It could be stuff about my smoke alarm. Which I haven't told you about. Why do you smoke? And by the way, smoke alarms are technically considered... Okay, I'm doing air quotes. You can't see it now, but I'm doing... Okay, I'll tell you when it ends. All right, hold on. Technology. Okay, I need the air quotes. Go ahead. Okay, so it's not about me smoking. It's about my smoke detector going off when there's no smoke around. Is the smoke detector smoking? Does it have a problem? Does it need to get the patch? As far as I know, it did not smell funny, okay? Well... I don't so, think it should smell. Well, okay. Okay, so I'm just I'm having okay, logic can problems. We get, can we get back to my problem? Oh, sorry, I didn't know. This is all about you. Well, you've been talking all this time. I that is a lie. I I can see the audio. Those smaller, the big blips are me, but the smaller blips should be. Okay, and please... Is that what I sound like? Oh, my gosh. That's, no, that's what your sound looks like. Now, please stop hitting your fists on the table, please. Well, who, where else am I supposed to... Oh. Ow. Sorry, you said not to hit the table. <laughs> you can't blame me. <laughs> I will proudly take hits for the podcat. 
the table and the podcast, are they related? Is it like, oh, oh, it's like inside. Technically, so you take a syringe and you put the table inside the podcast. Technically, this table is a part of everything I do with my computer. Oh, the stories you could tell, Veronica. That's your name, right? I, I, I don't know if you've named the table yet. I'm, I'm gently stroking it. Okay, to, is it okay to stroke it? I thought I had named it Mesa. Mesa? Yes. Getting a little little Pueblo on us, aren't you? Hey, you said you didn't speak Spanish. You lied about something else. Lie! Mesa is actually an English word now. No. Yes. No. It, it describes a feature of land. You know what? That's jacked up. That's like saying, oh, uh, uh, Colorado, the reason it's called that is because of the color auto, which is from the Spanish, which means they're... Uh, it's my, Colorful or something? Uh, redness, if memory serves. Color. Okay, but the... Redness. Don't, don't. Apple. This, is, this isn't racist. I'm being serious. The, the color auto is coming... This isn't about technology. <laughs> Shut up and listen. Okay. Oh, now Colorado is an English word. Cause blah, blah, blah. Okay, taco is an English word now. Because we say taco, not taco. You know, if you're in we also Spanish, say taco pizza. Yeah, but that's just because we're Americans. We're fat. <laughs> Which, ah, and that proves it because I'm American. I'm fat. In theory, I should have 0% Oh my gosh, rate. you're like so fat. You I have know. like 1% fat. I have to binge and only drink like prune juice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm doing the W-E sign. Whatever. Okay, so you're making a point? Okay, about my smoke detector. Wow. I'm going to be honest. I completely lost track so, of this conversation. So you see that thing on the ceiling over there, like, by the, the restroom. giant bat By the that, restroom. By the rest. I see another giant bat. Wait, I'm hallucinating. There's, like, a white I knobby see, thing I, on the ceiling. Wow, that's racist. But okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, so, about two weeks ago, after church, I come home Thursday, the thing is beeping at me, like, really fast. Church two weeks ago was Monday. How long does it get you to uh, get from church to home? Uh, like, Thursday? May, might have been the one you were not uh, here. Okay, so, we're rolling along. So, so I come home, I can hear the thing chirping from outside. Are I you c- sure it wasn't the giant mutant bat? Because I'm pretty because sure... I press the button on the smoke detector, and it goes off. It resets. It shuts up. I'm really glad. Two things. First of all, I'm really glad that you're saying detector, you know, really properly. Okay. Because I know you want to say detector, okay? And then I'm going to have to stop and go, detector. Say okay, this is not detector. about me, okay? This is about the smoke you detector. You said you wanted to get back to your problems. You've got a lot of problems, my okay. friend. The thing is that like I licked your Seven Up Cherry Coke when you weren't looking. I bet you did. And I it. love it that you did. You're welcome, America. <laughs> I know I made a Freudian slip there about the Cherry okay. Coke because I missed it. But oh. let's, what happened? Just okay. Tell me. You're not. Tell me. You're not letting me. I I can feel you wanting to tell me. Why haven't you told me yet? Okay. So smoke detector. <laughs> My smoke detector is also a carbon monoxide detector. <laughs> so you're detecting pollution in the atmosphere. Is basically somewhat. What you're so, like, I pull up the manual on the internet, because it's a thing we have now. The and, internet? Yes. Why and do we need the internet, really? My problems. <laughs> <laughs> truth. Truth. Okay, okay go on. So, I'm listening. So, I'm reading the manual, and I find out that this may be a sort of malfunction beeping that it's going on with, okay? It may be. So, but it shut up. It's fine. Last Wednesday, I come home from work. It's doing mm-hmm. the same thing, blaring outside. I reset it, and I'm like, I'm not going to deal with this crap anymore. I go, Aren't you? Wait, I, you say that out loud? Do you say that to the detector? Or the I may back? have said that. So I go, No, I'm not going to put up with this anymore. I go, since it was before 6 o'clock, the, the apartment office is still open. So I go over there and say, hey... My smoke alarm's going off. There's no smoke or anything. Could you have somebody come over and look at it? So I get back, and the thing is... When you said before 6 o'clock, the first thought I had, strangely enough, is that after 7, you turn into a werewolf. That happens at, like, 9 o'clock, right? Uh, It can happen to almost anyone. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Were you a werewolf when you did this? No. Did you take your mutant bat along? 
my problems again? Yeah, well, I mean, the mutant bat ain't my problem, buddy. <laughs> now there are two of them. Why if do you, you think see one? You see, you know there are. Why six. do you think that this is my problem? They could be my friends. I know your friends, and that is not entirely improbable. So go ahead, tell me what's happening. Okay, so you're so distractible. Oh, what's this over okay, here? Okay, so I go to the office, file a maintenance ticket. Okay, the girl there says, "Oh, uh, he's out, but he should be back in an hour." I'll is go it like a raffle? Him. So I come back. The thing is going off again. Beep 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 beep. Like that, or like beep beep beep, beep. or like ee ee ee, or ee ee. More like beep 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Yes, in about that beep, length beep, of time. Beep, 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 okay, beep, stop. Beep, beep. I just, I'm starting to freestyle. Hold on. Mm, mm, mm. Fine, go ahead, whatever. You can do what you want to do. Okay, so, <laughs> so I turn it off. I unplug the battery. It, it's also plugged into like the house wiring for some reason. Did you just do the air quotes over something in that sentence? No. Okay, just want to make sure. Cause okay, I have to say air quotes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, so you're trying so to I com- catch it. I completely disconnected everything, and uh, like I'm getting kind of suspicious that there might actually be a carbon monoxide emergency. So I step outside into my car for a little bit, but uh, so the guy comes and he's like, "Your car generates carbon monoxide, not when it's off." Okay, I'm just gonna roll with this. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> so, listening. I'm so listening. So the guy comes in and he's like, "Oh yeah, we switch these out every five years." He's like, well, I've been here over five years now. So he's like, well, yeah, that makes sense. And he also, and you know, I say, mm. hey, could, would you mind looking at my furnace and like actually making sure that nothing is making carbon monoxide in my apartment? Mm-hmm. So he's like, okay, you know, it seems okay, but uh, you know, just have someone come over, you know, clean out the filter, switch the filter, or whatever, because we only use thirty day filters here. You've been here five years. When was the last time they swapped out the filter for you? At least a year ago. I have bad news for you. I need to change my filter. You do. You the know, guy is coming tomorrow. People are always complaining about my filter. You don't have a filter. You don't have a filter. Mutant bat. I'm pretty Air quotes. I'm pretty, Air quotes. I'm pretty sure that anyone listening to this podcast would agree that you might need a filter. Why? Oh, uh, okay, maybe one guy who's all alone in his basement wearing nothing but, like, a leotard and shivering to himself, paranoid about the world around him, who's a complete and total loser and needs to get on with his life. That one guy may think that I am a, that I need a better filter, but you know what? That guy is starting to hear my voice in his head, isn't he? Do-do-do-do. I'm not doing the air quotes. I'm not, like, being, ow, okay, fine, whatever. So tell me, you've got to... You gotta swap out your filter, and the moral of the story is that technology, though beneficial, we should be cautious of, of it and air quotes. So, another thing about technology. Mm. People sort of restrict it arbitrarily to things of an electronic nature. That's not true. This table is technically technology. Mm. This mesa is, I believe, as they would well, say in Spanish. I believe the definition of technology is the application of science. Like something has to be doing some science. Psycho- no, because psychology would then be considered science. That's not science. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's sort of studying the behavior of humans. That's a really bad idea, by the way. If humans are bizarre, irrational creatures who stay in their basements wearing leotards listening to my voice inside their heads. Some humans are. Some do, yes. And even at that, they are at least a little predictable. And that they tend to congregate in basements. Horseshoe cowboy banana. Stuff like that. Randomness. It technically remember, is it random? Now, because Chris, psychologists would have disagreed. Now, Chris, remember... Well, I have a name? Yes! I, I, shouldn't we introduce ourselves at some point? Hi, Andrew! Hi, Chris! Listen, there's a backstory behind this. You're just gonna have to, like, come back next week to understand why there's... Oh, wait, you only do this every other week. We can do this anytime. Well, I guess. I, okay, I should... okay, so the backstory to that is uh, me and Chris have been actually hanging out for maybe about mm, three hours now. And it's about... Whoa! We've been friends for over a year now. No, no, we've been hanging out right here today, in this instance. For about three hours, yes. yes. 
And it is about to this point that we say hi to each other. Yeah, about halfway. We don't say hi when we see each other, except for this one time where Andy just totally screwed the whole thing up. Oh, now he's got to go answer his phone, which means it's all up to me to explain the backstory. The reason for this is, is actually very important. It, it touches to the very heart of humanity. It touches it touches on, on not just how we see each hi, other, Mom. but I'm why we see each other. Tell your mom I said hi again. Bye. What? No. Your mother loves me. Why? Why? What? Are you ashamed of me now? Are you a, Are you self-conscious? No. What? My mom respects me during my podcasting time. And at no other point in time does she do so. You should have been like, dude, I'm about to... I, she I call tends my to dude. use the P word at me. Responsibility? That's an R word. Wow, that sounds kind of racist. And second of all, there is a P in responsibility. And that's usually the word that people complain about. No. Irresponsible. Air quotes. Rawr. Well, she likes what I do so much that she sort of feels it that she is, that she has been successful in producing a uh, productive member of society. Therefore, she is a P word of that. Parent? No. Presentation? Popular? She's popular? No. No. Pop? Uh, pop? Pop. That's a good word. She's a pop. No. She's she, a pong? That, no, my ping, pop ping is pong? a pop. Your pop is a pop? Yes. Oh, you do have pop. It's Cherry 7 Up, even though I wanted to bring Cherry 7. Cherry, cherry, cherry Coke. Oh, I'm mourning. I'm mourning myself. <gasps> we haven't had any sushi. I, we had like one piece of sushi. We should, we should have more. I'll break it out. Yeah, also, um... You know, let's talk about your mom here for a second. Uh, she feels, uh, presentation or no, no, no. preventative. Because I have succeeded in life, she feels P word. P. Like, uh, punctual. She feels punctual. No. It is a five letter word. And ends, and it rhymes with loud. Cloud. Pagowd. Five letters. My mother, whenever she hits me, she goes, I'm pagowd. Like, no, not every single time. Pz, pz, sapals, spout. Soups, soups. I actually guessed proud like five uh, minutes ago. I'm not talking to you anymore. No! I guessed it like five minutes ago, and you didn't, you didn't, like... That, that is what I do to her when she says that. I hang up the sp- phone. You spagow her? Wow, that's hard. If, that's if, I, if by spagow, you mean hang up the phone, yes, spigow. I spagow her when she says that word. Well, now she's going to blame me for that. No. Yes! Listen, people blame me for all sorts of things that aren't really my fault, like that one time that the deer... Okay, was that my fault? No. That deer hit my car. My mom did not pagow you over that. She could. Okay, people will pagow you. Are you going to eat some of this sushi? Pagowed? Say pagowed. Are you going to pagow some of this sushi? I am, I'm going to pagow it, yes. I'm okay. saying you need to pagow. It's not pagow. To oh. pagow means to it's it's actually a noun. It's a man who's actually a werewolf. Like you are. You're a a, a cow. You cannot turn yourself into a I am not a, a cow. Bird. How dare you? You a b- cow. A b- cow? No, no, I can't pronounce it anymore either. So um <laughs> smoke alarm. Technologies the word should be applied to many different aspects of our sciences. Well But is that really necessary? Let's see. Uh, we can, you know, science, or rather, technology can come in many different forms. Uh, you know, it could be as simple as a wheel or an iron fish. You mean iron fist? Fish. Fist. It's a superhero. It, it, it's a real thing. Well, it's not a real no. thing because superheroes aren't real. Okay, so. Except for Batman. Because he's Batman. Uh, Listen, Iron Fist 
It's actually Danny Rand in the Marvel Universe. They're supposed to make a movie out of him. No. That's, they are that's, supposed that's to That's not the Iron Fist I'm thinking about. You're thinking of a different Iron Fist? Yes. Is this a fist of actual iron? Because that looks, doesn't sound it, like very beneficial. It looks like a fist, and it looks like it's made out of iron. Okay, so it's actually, it's more like a claw. Oh. It's iron claw. That's a different person. That's from a, a different uh, uh, franchise. That's from GI Joe, actually. Uh, I was actually thinking. You're about, thinking about Kung Pao enter the fist. Instead of Bagao, you thought about Kung Pao, and that's what led you to Iron Fist. Okay, let's talk about Iron Fish. I like fish. They're delicious. Yes. They're slimy. Um, I guess in this way, they remind me of a lot of people I know. Uh, what else do we got on them, though? Like, uh, what do we really know about fish? I'm sure there's a psychologist out there that knows something. <laughs> Mm. Maybe there's a fish psychologist. Mm. A psychologist? No. 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 No, I agree. That was bad. So, um, let's talk about Fallout for a moment. Mm Mm-hmm. So. The world in need of a lot of psychiatrists. Um, I was thinking maybe mental health. People. Well. That's what we call mental health people, psychologists. Uh, maybe. maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your point? Is not made. Yes. Do you know what the best part... Let's, okay, this, this conversation is dying a little bit. What? No! I was about to rail into another... Now, see, when you brought let, up all that... Let me deliver this, this sort of excellent derailment of a topic. Okay. So. I hate Frozen. When you know. brought up Fallout about all those mentally ill people, I thought, wow, those people are slightly more sane than the devil's whore. <laughs> Elsa. Okay? That is, we're not derailed. We're, we're, we are calm. Okay. And rational. And we talk about mutant bats. And I could really, I really want to be able to fly just with willpower. Let me try while you talk about your derailment. <laughs> Do you need to go to the bathroom or something? I'm going to be honest. I just begowed myself. <laughs> oh! Oh! See, I can turn it into a verb, too. Your point? So I'm listening. Okay. So now, sometimes you're always like, Oh, you never listen to me. You always interrupt me. You don't love me. Bird to bird to bird. I'm pretty Air much... Quotes. I'm pretty I much... I listen to you. I always listen to you. I'm, I'm pretty much... Right now. I'm pretty much you just demonstrated that... What? I listen to you with my words and my deeds. I can tell you... You won't shut up! Are you talking to the smoke detector? Listen, I know you're racist towards them because you call them white knobs, but I mean, come on now. Wow. Wow? I mean, I'm used to people saying wow. Please tell me you did not just go there. Go what? Dude, you called it a small white knob. We're just talking about the smoke detector. A bump on the ceiling. Yes. What are you talking about? The smoke detector. That's what I'm talking about. Then you're like, you didn't just go there. You went there 10, 20 minutes ago about, oh, let me tell you about my problems. I'm like, I'm listening. And then you're like, you never let me talk. I'm like, yes, you I do. You never let me talk. I, you just did. Okay. You literally just said it. And I used it in your exact tone. Okay. I could do this podcast as you. Chris, you never let me talk. Yes, I do. Shut up, Christopher. Rawr! I hate air quotes. <laughs> you have, and I go, I hate Frozen. Okay, your point. What's your point? Okay. So, you know how British people are always talking down on American media, saying that it's not as good as British media. And I have a hypothesis. I, a hypothesis. hypothesis. Thank you. I'm going to help you with that later on, my friend. This About this. And I think it's because Americans do not use obscure British idiosyncrasies in their speech. So if we were just a bit more obscure in our speech, everyone would love America. And if we had a better accent than our just plain Midwesternese. 
Well, we can do southern accents. We could be Australian. We could be British. Well, yeah, we could be British. Oh, now we're all, everyone loves America now. We're talking about the blah, blah, blah. Lie me, lie me, lie. Oh, that's actually kind of mean. Okay, so <laughs> I don't think that's really tone, though. Like, I mean, how many times have you heard someone say, man, I just hate little white knobs? And you'd be like, wow, if that guy just said it in an accident, I would love to hear him talk more about how much he hates little white knobs. You know what I mean? Whatever. Whatever. Well, now they don't understand that callback. Okay, it's like dropping these... I, I, it's unfair to the people listening to this podcast. That they'll they'll catch up. Them. They'll catch up. Yeah, I just... I'm concerned, especially about that guy in the basement by himself. I'm just thinking... Would you forget like, about that guy already? No, I care... We, we have not, not care about we him. We have not... I s- love him. I love you, buddy. I'm here for you. I can hear you right now. Yes, I'm not just in your head. I love you. Okay, and the reason why I say that nobody in the basement listens to us because they haven't sent any feedback to the website. Well, maybe if we just said a bunch of horrible things, then then it would be a lot to get some feedback. Like, a deer hit my car, and I was in such a rush. I mean, I was coming back from, like, what, a 10-hour trip? I didn't even stop. I didn't even care. Now people are going to be animal lovers and they're like, that deer was a living soul. Its energy was pure. I'm like, well, dude, that, that hit the, my car, though. Like, well, that was stupid to do. Don't hit my car. Well, I think you're just guilty because... I'm guilty? You did a drive-by with an automatic. What kind of automatic... One that does something by itself? Uh, no, you're supposed to say an automatic transmission. No, that doesn't even make it. That's not even a joke. <laughs> you're saying, oh, that did a drive-by. I didn't even drive by. I was driving by and <laughs> it hit my side. That That's bad. what a drive-by is. No, a drive-by is when you're driving by and you or no, drive wait, by. Sorry, that's a drive-through. No, because I didn't go through the thing. <laughs> And he tried to go through me, like, oh, I have ghost powers. Ghost deer, doo-doo-doo. Oh, dude, I just got a great idea for a television show. We can star the mutant bat, me and you. We'll be detective buddies hunting ghost deer. Hmm, Bambi's mom And show. I will be the werewolf. <clears throat> it's called the Pagal, I believe. Okay, you realize fine. that I- now that belch is forever going to be on the That You will never outrun that. You are great. Great, great, oh, my kidding, you're not. I great. Have any kids. Great, 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 say great, <laughs> say great, great, amp, amp is a word, I'm talking about great. Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to test something. Shh, shh, shh. Really? Okay, listen. You never let me talk. <laughs> grape, grape. Okay. Grape, grape. Nope, I can't stop. Grape, 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 grape. <laughs> Would you stop looking at that? I'm trying. No, I'm looking at the track. I'm trying to find out where my aspiration is. Not inspiration. That's something else. You're thinking of inspiration. You're not going to find your inspiration on the line. I kind of am. It's speaking to me. It's like, Christopher, you should talk more about how horrible Frozen is or about begowing. Oh man, I loved a bagal. Like I the thought, other day, you just said bagal. you hated it. Well, it's like, well, here, no, bagowing is okay. What bothers me is that bagowing is outside of myself, and I need it inside of myself. So you know what I need? Uh, because of injections and sh- syringes. Oh, you try so hard. So tell me more about this this uh this interest you had in technology. Um, and yes, I'm going to use air quotes. Technology. Well, it pretty much ended there with the iron fish I tried to bring up. And then you just sort of did what? a drive-by with an automatic and just tore it all to pieces. Well, I don't I don't think so. I think none of us really lost sight of what was really important in the conversation. You know what that is? That's called being distracted. No. ADHD. No, no. What? A D H D. Yeah, if you spell it, it doesn't mean anything but ad. Like, like ah, like that's not even a word. Why are we talking about ADHD? Why aren't we talking about something else? Attention, like fish? defense, high definition. 
Yeah. Now, see, that sounds like technology to me. That sounds like a TV show. Ghost Deer sounds like a TV show. At HD. Honey. HD. Coming soon to NBC. Wow, we should really sell this. <laughs> Episode 2, The Ghost Deer's Revenge. Do-do-do-do. Okay, so why don't you tell us a little bit about why it is so important for us to monitor, like, uh, to consider what is actually considered technology. Because it sort of ties into your uh, impulsive uh, thing about... Impulsive? I'm impulsive. How am I impulsive? About English? You are very impulsive about English and the definition and pronunciation of words. Not just of the word words, but a lot of different words, actually. Not words... It's not words. There's no H in there. It's not aspirate. I don't say words. Words. H D. There's an H in there. No. Listen. 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 Say words. Words. It's not words. It's not whip. You know. Ha. Oh. Grape. Grape. Great. Grape. Grape. Sorry. Got distracted there for a second. But okay. So what? So you're saying that inseparable from us. It's our love of sciences. Even though we don't consider everything that we do science, a lot of what we do is actually built on a logical form that's transmitted from one human to another based on preconceived notions of what will benefit our society, and therefore we should always consider all sciences to be equal. Uh, there may be some debate with that. Yeah, obviously psychology is not a real thing. Yes! And animism. I mean, animals deserve to die. You know what especially deserves to die? Be- the one that hit you. Yeah, absolutely. Or, excuse me, the one that hit your car. Yes, well, it didn't technically hit me, but it did hit the car. So, yes, thank you for that. That one is a horrible, horrible person. It's not a pure spirit. Okay. Uh, back to the point at hand, which is about um, our compulsion for technology. I guess, I guess I can see your point that, you know, we should start... Uh, Reviewing it, but what kind of technology then do you think would not be on the level with the others? Okay, like, uh, obviously medicine is very important. So like chemistry is, is an important science. Yes. I'd say linguistics can also be very important because without language, you really can't understand that person next to you. Is that, ling- is that actually science or is that more art? Oh, so this is an anti-art thing. Be careful of the bat. He loves Why do art. you think I'm anti-art? Um, because about two months ago, I was like, oh, yeah, I went to the art museum. You said, I hate art. And artists suck. And they're fat. And they're ugly. And I don't love them. I said, yeah, they're oh. so fat like you. I know. There's actually a lot You're of You're so stuff. fat like ew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so many artists are starving, though, so they don't get fat. But, I mean... I'd, I'd say that art is also a science. I mean, we often think of them as as wholly different subjects, but a lot of art is actually the science of the human mind and of context and textualism and technology like that. You know, I mean, it develops, it changes, it alters. I just noticed something. Principle. I don't think that your pants are Chris Bauhoff compliant. I know. I'm very concerned about that. Like, well, you do have a belt. I do. I do. I noticed I had a belt. You know what I noticed I had a belt? Right about when I put them on, I said, oh, these have a belt. Wait, they're like sewn in? What, the belt? Yeah. Or the pants? The belt. I'm sewn into my the, pants. These the are belt too tight for me to get off. Is the belt sewn into the pants? Okay, I appreciate that you enunciated that whole thing, but here's the deal. This whole thing is painted on. That's why I'm always so cold wherever I go. That makes sense. The I belt is argue. the only real thing. Okay. The rest of the... The rest of the pants... I just... <laughs> that's the way I walk. It's freezing. Okay. Um, that's about all the time we have for now. <laughs> uh, let's not forget what we learned about science, technology, giant mutant bats, changing out your filter, having a filter, and most importantly of all... Chris does not wear pants. I hate Frozen. That was it. (laughs) I don't think that the thing about my pants is the most important.